Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler Only Bins. Now, it's been a while since I've been in here, but let's have a look and see what they're doing. Moving things over. I don't think I expect to see any food, maybe. Not enough for a worm ball. But, oh, there's something squishy. Those darn carrots. They're still not done. Oh, there we go. We did have a worm ball. I must have fed them good enough that they lasted for two weeks. Pretty weak worm ball, but it's a worm ball. I'll take it. But looking down here at the bottom, worms are, with the exception of that one little clump, we don't really see a bunch of them. The bedding is getting worked over. Definitely not time to, to give them any more for sure. Just, you know, it's also kind of full. Looking over on this side. It's been a couple of weeks. So unfortunately, I just don't think we're going to see a massive worm ball any place. We've got a little bit of action there in the avocado. I smell citrus, but I don't see anything. Alright, well, I flipped the whole thing over and really I'm not seeing anything except for those little baby oranges. So these guys are past due for a good size feeding. And since it is springtime, I thought that I would uh, do a little segment on the worms eat my weeds. And, and that's weeds, not weed. That's a different story. So first things first, I have a base that I'm going to put behind this, and it's some overcooked rice. There we go. Kind of looks like mashed potatoes. It is pretty wet. So hopefully they'll be able to get into it. And then we'll give them some magnolia leaves. Some creeping charlie. Um, state flower of Illinois right there. A little iris. And I think I've got some dandelions. There we go. So they've got dandelions and other kinds of weeds and we'll see you know that's kind of a nitrogen source with a nitrogen source with that rice so let's we'll see how long it takes them to get into that they'll definitely have some fast food with that rice and they've still got a little bit of carrot in there as well but uh, we'll see what we're gonna do um, it's been a while since I've given them anything fresh fresh so it's not frozen, it's not cooked, it's just straight out of the yard. So we'll see what they do with it. So I've given them about a handful of rice and then about a handful of, of the weeds for the, the vertical red wiggler bin. So I'm going to put the lid on here and then I'm going to move you over to the horizontal bin. Oop. All right. Got a little traveling going on here. I don't usually see too much of that really. Lots of springtails though. Probably, holy cow. I really don't know if that's visible, but that is, that's a skosh insane. I'm going to put some of my neem cake powder in there. Because that's, considering they haven't fed in two weeks, I don't have any idea what the dumb things are getting so excited about. It's spring, but they're getting a little too springy. I don't have my cheaters on right now, so I can't really see them all that well, and that's probably for the best. Alright, we still got a little, little tiny worm ball over here with the baby carrots. 
but I think, yeah, I'm going to go grab the neem cake powder. I'll be back. I'm not sure if this has a, an effect on uh, the little jumpers here, but I'm going to give it a try. Stuff kind of smells like celery powder to me. Celery powder, onion powder, and that's what the neem cake powder smells like to me. I don't think it's really unpleasant. Some people are just horrified by it. Um, but, you know, to me it doesn't smell terrible. So that's a good handful in this size of a bin. It not only does its job as um, an insect killer, but it is also a good nutrient. So let me get them their food, make kind of a hole in the middle here. Let's remember to take the sticker off. Yeah. That way I don't have to look at it again. All right, let me get them some of their rice. There we go. So when we come look at this again, you'll probably see some blue mold on here, and that's very normal for rice. I'm not really sure what causes it to, you know, have a different kind of mold than other kind of food. Um, but it does tend to. I don't think it's anything to worry about unless you're allergic to penicillin. So these guys probably got more flowers and weeds than the other one did. But that's okay. They've got more surface area. So that's going to be their feeding. Now I didn't see any springtail apocalypse going on in the vertical bin, so I didn't put any of the, the neem cake powder in there. So we'll see if, uh, if this has an impact over the next couple of weeks. But I'm going to cover these guys up. Let me know what you think down below about the neem cape powder. I know that AV had used the neem oil on his bins. Um, let me know if you have used the powder as well and if you had what kind of luck with it. Um, it doesn't hurt the worms that much I know. I've been putting it in with my bedding for a while. Um, so I know it does not hurt the worms, but hopefully it helps with the darn springtails, because that was a little bit nuts. I'm not sure if it'll be close enough for you guys to see, but wow. All right, guys, well, that is the end of the Red Wiggler only bins. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.